It's not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. Yeah, that's right, Thor no longer has Mjolnir thanks to his sister Hela, so how the hell is he gonna take on Thanos in the upcoming Infinity War? Well, for one, he has that dope new Raiden lightning trick, but doesn't he need an actual weapon? Yes, he does, and this might be it. Hold up, I need to warn you, there are major spoilers ahead. If you don't wanna know anything about Infinity War, get out of here. If you're cool with spoilers, let's go. All right, here it is. If you believe this leaked toy photo that showed up on Reddit this week, it looks like Thor will be getting a new hammer in Infinity War. Now there is a whole lot going on in that photo, so let's take a few minutes to investigate what the hell is up with Thor's new Infinity War hammer. Now before we jump into these Infinity War rumors, be sure to click that subscribe button because we will have a ton of coverage leading up to the film. And right now, make sure you check out all of our Black Panther videos, including our spoiler talk review and our post credit scene breakdown. Stop. Have a time. Sorry guys, had to put that in there. And for quite some time, we knew that Thor needed a new weapon for Infinity War but we didn't know how he would get that weapon or what it would be. And if we believe that this photo is completely 100% real, then it looks like it's a cross between an ax and a hammer and it's called Stormbreaker. Now that name will definitely sound familiar to comic book readers. Stormbreaker was created for Beta Ray Bill after he defeated Thor in battle. Odin had the dwarves of Nidavellir craft the weapon from the same nearly indestructible Yuru metal as Mjolnir. This is a pretty awesome connection with Beta Ray Bill because we haven't seen him yet in the films except for that sculpture of him on the Grandmaster's palace on Sakaar. That's right, Bill was a champion of the contest of champions, much like Hulk. I'm guessing it's only a matter of time until we see Beta Ray Bill on screen. They've just teased it so much. Now, earlier evidence suggested that Thor might be wielding the Battle Axe Yarnborn, or Ultimate Mjolnir. At least it looked that way in early concept art, the Infinity War Funko Pop, and this Instagram from Ragnarok director Taika Waititi. In the comics, Yarnborn was Thor's main weapon before he upgraded to Mjolnir. It was sharper than any weapon seen on Earth, and he battled frost giants, dragons, trolls, you name it. He even used some of his own blood to give it the power to pierce celestial armor. Now, Ultimate Mjolnir comes from the Ultimate Marvel imprint, which was a complete redesign of the character, most notably his personality, but also his reliance on the hammer as a source of power. Of course, the weapon looked much different than the OG Mjolnir, more of an axe-hammer combo with a much longer handle. So it looks like Thor's new weapon will have a new look and a new name. But how will he acquire the weapon in Infinity War? We're guessing it happens here. We thought that he might be opening up a portal to another dimension or something, but now it seems more likely he's attempting to forge a new weapon for himself. Why are we so convinced? Well, because it looks like a very significant part of the film, but also because of yet another leak from another toy manufacturer. There are leaked photos and descriptions of six Lego sets that could be found online, and my mind is blown. Take a guess which minifigures are included. Thor, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, and an unknown Infinity Stone. Hold up, did I just read that right? Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Take a closer look at the handle on Thor's new weapon. I have so many questions. Will Thor, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot travel to Nindavalir, meet up with some dwarves, and make his new weapon? Does Groot sacrifice himself to create Stormbreaker? Or does he just give him one of his arms or legs? We know Groot is strong enough to save the Guardians, so I guess he can bind one of the most powerful weapons in the universe as well. Whatever happens, guys, please don't kill Groot. Please. Finally, one more thing we noticed in this photo, Thor has both of his eyes. Was he magically healed, or is Marvel ditching the eye patch for the toys? Or maybe this photo is completely fake, and I just wasted an entire day looking up fake toy comic book rumors for a movie that's three months away. Oh God, I have no life. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't waste my entire day researching these internet rumors. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Thor will make Stormbreaker with the help of Rocket Raccoon and Groot? Let me know in the comments below, and we will see you next time.